Happiness matters a lot for not just you, but also the people around you. When you're happy, you'll have better health, greater resilience, thriving social relationships, higher productivity, and reduced levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. By extension, you can help people around you feel better about life and improve your productivity level as a result of the positive vibes they get from you. So, you see, your happiness can affect the rest of the world in one little way or the other. Hence, the need to understand the concept of happiness better. Most importantly, you need to learn how to stay happy and positive as often as possible. In this video, I'll share with you 10 best books on happiness. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Stumbling on Happiness Daniel Gilbert According to Gilbert, the Harvard professor who wrote this book, we aren't very good at predicting what will make us happy. So, the book helps us challenge our imagination of the future while striking a balance between feeling good enough to cope with a situation but bad enough to do something about it. It's all about using your emotions as a compass to tell you what to do. Gilbert explores psychology, behavioral economics, cognitive neuroscience, and philosophy to show what scientists have found about our ability to imagine the future and predict how happy we will be when we get there. Number 2. The Art of Happiness by Delilah Lama In this book, Lama explains the best way to deal with life when things get complicated and little frustrating. According to him, take a step back and remind yourself of your overall purpose and goal. Take the time to think about what brings you happiness and then rest your priorities accordingly. You'll be surprised at the new perspective that this can bring. When it does, you can make decisions in the direction of that perspective. Number 3. The How of Happiness by Sonja Lyubomiski Why does happiness matter? How does it work? How can you create happiness for yourself? Lyubomiski answers the three questions in this book. In her words, Becoming lastingly happy demands making some permanent changes that require effort and commitment every day of your life. Pursuing happiness takes work, but consider that this happiness work may be the most rewarding work you'll ever do. Also, to reach your happiness potential, you have to be willing to exercise because the effects are not only instant but also lasting. Number 4. The Happy Life Formula by Nils Salzgeber Salzgeber's The Happy Life Formula explores how happiness works, outlines the 26 proven happiness boosting strategies, and finally shows you how to build a happy life. The book is more about practicing the theoretical facts that we already know about happiness. It's about learning how to incorporate happiness into every structure of our lives. Number 5. The Happiness Project or why I spent a year trying to sink in the morning, clean my closets, fight rights, read Aristotle, and generally have more fun by Gretchen Rubin. Rubin helps you feel comfortable about your life by being open enough to talk about her shortcomings and her willingness to address them. However, for people who might not be able to relate to her story, because she's lucky enough to have grown amidst a healthy family with financial stability. Ruben's principles are universal. Anyone can apply them into their lives and gets the same positive result. Some of Ruben's principles include setting measurable goals in the areas of your life you want to improve, such as marriage, parenting, work, self-fulfillment, etc and building on those goals cumulatively with specific action steps. Number 6. The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acker Do you know how financial investment works? Okay, it's like this. When you invest today, your returns don't come in today. They come later in the future when you seem to appreciate it even more. Building new habits works in a similar pattern. Developing one today is an investment that will automatically give out returns for years to come. To build happiness that will last long, then you should be willing to learn and develop the right habits that will put you up for it. Number 7. Authentic Happiness by Martin Seligman There's pleasure and then there's happiness. 
Pleasures are the fleeting burst of positive emotions we get from playing video games, watching movies, eating specific meals, or having sex. Pleasures are easy to come by. They don't take much effort, neither do they lead to true happiness. Happiness, on the other hand, is what we get from living a meaningful and purposeful life. Unlike pleasures, it is hard to create and it takes time. However, it leads to lasting satisfaction and fulfillment. Number 8. The Slight Edge Turning Simple Disciplines into Massive Success and Happiness by Jeff Olson Having dreams and aspirations are commendable. However, it is the small things we do at the moment that culminate and have a compound effect. So, you can achieve anything that you want, but you have to realize that the only way to make it happen is not by taking quantum leaps. Instead, it is by doing little things over and over every single day. Number 9. The Happiness Trap How to Stop Struggling and Start Leaving A Guide to Act by Rhys Harris Have you ever heard of the concept of acceptance and commitment therapy? Well, Harris introduced it in this book, The Happiness Trap. Most people become miserable in their quest for happiness. However, if you learn to use the act introduced by Harris, you'll become clear on how to live in the present moment leading to satisfaction in life. The book explores how to handle negative feeling effectively and move forward healthily. It's about learning to overcome habits that might be self-destructive. Number 10. Happier Human 53 Science Backed Habits to Increase Your Happiness by S.J. Scott and Amit A. When you ask a lot of people what they truly want in life, they say happiness. If that is the case, why then do they continually chase after things like money, fame and job advancement as a path to happiness when these things do almost nothing to increase happiness? Well, Scott and Amit provided answers to this question with so many science-backed methods to achieve greater happiness. There you go. Enjoy a fantastic read. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.